Well, here is a sweet find at Goodwill. This is a Sharp CDBH950. This is just cred from the tape because they had the whole <clears throat> thing held together with a bunch of tape. <clears throat> so I got to clean that off. Uh, this looks so pristine. I don't even think it's ever been used. It's dated back in 2007 or 8, <clears throat> somewhere around there. But... Oops, I must have turned it on. Didn't even realize it. So I think it... it that's weird. Was it on the whole time? Huh. I don't know. There we go. Um, so... Let's see here. It's got Bluetooth, which is what's wanted me to buy it. I don't have a Bluetooth actual stereo system that can boom. Um, so one, two, three, okay, so I'm just trying to find the controls here. Open. Disc one? I think it's going to open up disc one. Cool. All right. <clears throat> let's see if it can, let's see if it still plays. Uh, what's the volume at? <laughs> okay. I hear it's spinning. That's good so far. All right, cool. I realized it was it skipped number two because the button's probably a little finicky. All right, so the C player looks like it works good. Now I'm gonna try, let's see what's next. Tuner, band, audio in, USB. Audio in, I'm not gonna try that, but I'm gonna use the USB, see if it reads the files on it as it is. 205 files. Let's see, which, is it gonna play by itself? No, okay. Cool, even has the display where it shows you the information. Okay, that actually sounds really good. Uh, these speakers are 120 watts each. Now, when it was in the store, the tape was over the door here. I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe it was like some sort of pull out from maybe like an, an iPod or some other device. Nope, it's a cassette player. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites that uh, I love having on stereos. Now, I don't see a tape button, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Maybe it... Oh, and this tape deck does not record. But look at how clean it is. Hmm. Interesting. How does, I'm trying to figure out where the tape button is. Because there's no physical buttons, so it's obviously, it must be somehow, um, we want to call it, I don't remember. It does it by itself. <clears throat> anyway, there's a USB, phone in, I mean, phones and then audio in. A disc changer, yeah, yada yada. That's about it. And it's a five CD changer. I'm trying to figure out how to make the cassette tape part work. That's interesting. I'm going to figure that out at some point because I really want to know if that actually works. Hmm. Anyway, let's check Bluetooth. I have my old phone on, so I'll link it with that. Uh, let's see here. Bluetooth devices. <laughs> Search for devices. Yeah, there it is. Bluetooth connected. Okay, cool. Uh, do I have anything that I can play for a moment that's copyright free? Yeah, I do. I see some. 
Yeah. Oh, YouTube library. I'll be safest with that. Uh, IQ. Cubic Z. It even shows it right there in the thing. Cubic Z. And you can change it with the stereo. Computer. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now this is one heck of a stereo system that I am gonna keep forever. I love this thing already. I'm just trying to, trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong. If I'm missing something, I'm trying to figure out why I can't get the cassette portion to, you know, work, because there's no cassette button. Oh yeah, there is. Oh my God. Well, that would explain it now, wouldn't it? It's with the tuner button. Tuner and tape. Tuner. AM and tape. Okay, finally. Oh. All right, moment of truth. Let's find out if it works. It does. Holy crap, it actually works. Oh, yeah. This has nothing wrong with it. Oh, I am happy. All right. I spent 25 bucks on this and this is probably the best 25 bucks I've ever spent at Goodwill. <laughs> All right. That is that for now. Later.